When you want to know the answer to something, generally where do you go to find it? YouTube, Google, Siri, Mom? While these are all logical places to turn for information, sooner or later we all end up using online search engines like Google, Bing, or DuckDuckGo for schoolwork, research, or just fun. But how many of us really understand all of the elements that allow the complicated business of online searching to happen in the first place? It helps to first know what the internet is. The internet is a global network of computers, millions of them all around the world, all connected. Some people refer to the internet as the web. While the terms internet and web are used interchangeably, the web, more formally known as the World Wide Web, is really just one part of the internet. The internet is broader because it includes email, instant messaging, online gaming, and much, much more. When you search for something on the internet, you use a search engine. This is a software program that enables your device to search for content on the web. A web browser, like Chrome, Safari, or Firefox, is a software program that allows you to view the web pages. This can be confusing, so think about it this way. If you were sitting in a car, your windshield would be the browser, and the steering wheel would be the search engine. It also helps to know the difference between a website and a web page. A website is a collection of web pages that belong to a single owner or domain. A web page is a single document on the website. To use another metaphor, if a website were a book, then a web page would be a page within that book. Just like a house on a street, every web page has an address. This address is called a URL, which stands for Uniform Resource Locator. The URL usually can be found at the top of your screen and will look something like this. URLs can look short and simple or long and complicated. But just remember, they usually start out with the name of the language they are using, also known as the protocol. In this example, the protocol is HTTP. The language is followed by these symbols. Then comes www, which simply stands for World Wide Web. Next is the domain name, which in this example is YouTube. And finally, the extension. This indicates the type of domain it is. For example, .com indicates the website is of a commercial nature. Other extensions include .org, an organizational website, .edu, an educational institution, .gov, a government website, and many more. When you look for something online on a search engine like Google, the results you get come from the visible web. This refers to the content index by search engines. The deep web consists of every single document on the internet, whether it has been indexed or not. Don't get this confused with the dark web, which refers to encrypted online content. The dark web is intentionally hidden, requiring a specific browser, and can be known as a shady place. <laughs>